we're off to USA, the greatest country in the world. And it has taken us months to get this on the road and people are asking us all the time. So there's been a lot of due diligence on everything, mortgages, the legal side. So we've got two guests on with us today, Craig Bryant, who's with Lenore, who are the people that are um, obviously behind the whole project, and our very own Tyrone, who is American, green card, citizenship, anything you want to know about America, um, Tyrone's your man, and he works with Holborn. So, <clears throat> Greg, I'm looking forward to this. I love America. Over to you. Chris, thank you so much for the kind introduction. Tyrone, it's great to see you. And I look forward to this very exciting opportunity to share about two of our fabulous opportunities in Florida with Lennar. So as Chris mentioned, I am Business Development Asia Director for Golden Gate Global. And I wanna just give you a little background about Golden Gate Global, how we work with Lennar, um, the service we provide, and then share these two beautiful uh, communities with, uh, our, our, with, with our audience today. So our group of companies started off 10 years ago. We are actually an immigration um, uh, EB-5 regional center based in San Francisco um, with over 1,300 investors across um, our EB-5 platform. And since then, we've also expanded our offerings into uh, a real estate private uh, equity firm, um, and uh, we offer a real estate private uh, uh, private debt uh, for a uh, uh, fund through also wealth management. Over the years, as we have worked with Lennar, particularly from an EB-5 perspective, we have uh, gained a very, very close relationship, top-down relationship with Lennar. Um, in fact, our EB-5 offerings, which were uh, in the early years focused exclusively on Lennar, um, we have over $400 million in uh, assets under management with Lennar's um, uh, projects on the EB-5 side. And over the years, we had many clients come to us and say, we love the product that Lennar offers. We want to find out how we can advantage ourselves, take advantage of the opportunity to invest in U.S. real estate with Lennar. And so um, very recently, we have uh, put together a concierge service whereby we take international investors, international buyers from A to Z, all the way from beginning to end, including the purchase process, mortgages, uh, property management, et cetera, um, to make this a one-stop shop for purchasing Lennar properties all around the United States. A little bit about Lennar. Lennar it was founded in 1954 and has been listed on the New York Stock Exchange since 1972. It's the largest U.S. home builder. They have over 1 million homes built across the United States, 21 different states, um, and homes for every need, vacation homes, second homes, investment homes, single family, multifamily, et cetera. And recently, just this year, they were noted as Fortune's most admired home builder in the world, um, which is uh, quite an accomplishment. And we're very, very happy uh, to be working with um, Lennar um, in, uh, in, in this respect, especially considering um, their global footprint. So many, many times um, clients will ask, why buy in the United States? Um, and there are many reasons. Obviously, investment security is one of those, um, moderate pricing, long-term appreciation. And I'll go into some of these in more detail in the slides to follow. Um, but of the home purchases in the United States, international purchases uh, basically cover about 5% of those uh, purchases. And the top geographies you can see down there in the middle are Florida, California, Texas, New Jersey, New York. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on Florida. Um, and the 300K average price there um, sometimes is very attractive for investors, depending on what type of, uh, what part of the world they may be coming from. Um, but $300,000 is a very affordable number for uh, many international investors that also attracts them to um, the United States for uh, real estate investment. So historical home values, um, actually I had data that goes back to the 1800s, the late 1800s, which I don't think anyone on this call is old enough to remember that, but um, actually, uh, except for Chris maybe. So since the 1800s, since the late 1800s, U.S. historical home values have increased at about 3% per year on average, which is a, a very steady, solid uh, growth rate, which I think 
over the last century has attracted uh, a lot of investors who are looking for something stable, um, but with a, a definite growth pattern. Um, and this is true by region. Um, it's not just one. Uh, it's not just one statistic. It is true for every uh, different part of the United States. So today we're going to be talking about the South and Southwest, um, and uh, Florida in particular. Also, another very, very important reason why many investors are looking at the United States now is over the last year or so, US mortgage rates have been at a historic low. And just recently, if those, uh, those of you who have been looking at US mortgage rates in the news, you may have recognized that uh, potentially in 2022, there will be another rise, or, or th there will be a rise in the, uh, historic, uh, in, the, in the mortgage rate for residential homes, et cetera. So um, there is that possibility. A lot of people are wanting to take advantage of the opportunities today to get into this market um, and take advantage of these low interest rates. Can, so I, just add, uh, can I just add there, Greg, that uh, yes. I, I, I mentioned at the beginning that uh, a lot of due diligence has been going on behind the scenes over the last couple of months. And certainly mortgages is a subject that we touch on every week during the show. Um, and again, we have got a solution, we hope, for everybody um, all tied in. And by the way, I usually say to people, please put your questions and we'll answer them as we're going along. But we are going to, there's so much information in this, what we've decided to do is to ask your questions at the end. So please do type them and we'll cover them right at the end. Sorry, Greg, that's just my little advert. Sounds good, Chris. Thank you. Yes, please do keep those questions coming in. So the two communities I wanted to feature today are Champions Gate and Story Lake. And for those who may not be familiar with US geography, um, we're talking about Florida, Central Florida, and Florida is uh, down in the southeast corner of the United States there in yellow on that map. Champions Gate is located in Orlando, Florida, and it is a town unto itself. Um, it's literally that large. It has pretty much anything and everything you could imagine as far as um, uh, eateries, uh, places to go and, uh, and entertainment. Um, it's built around golf courses that are world renowned. Um, you can see just a little bit of, uh, in, in this slide here, you can see um, the entire layout of the community and you can see that the entire community is based around several golf courses, Greg Norman golf courses. Um, looking at the Orlando area, if you can see here in the left hand side of the screen left, uh, at the bottom, this is Champions Gate, and the location is very conveniently located within 10 minutes drive of Disney World, um, over 20 minutes from Universal. Sea World is about 17 minutes, um, and they're shopping um, and other attractions uh, all within a very uh, close proximity to Champions Gate. These are some of the eateries for those who are interested in uh, finding something to eat right at Champions Gate. Um, currently, there are 23 available at Champions Gate right within um, that, uh, that community. Now, the current development that we're going to be talking about and highlighting very briefly today will be um, in this area, this part of uh, Champions Gate over on the left hand, upper left hand side. Um, and we're going to be talking about several different types of uh, floor plans today. We're not going to get into all the details. We actually do have um, uh, the opportunity in uh, the very new future to uh, provide more information on this, but I'm going to go through this very uh, very quickly today to show um, just literally the uh, great options, the vast amount of options that are available. So the condos, as you can see, um, this is uh, the outward, uh, the, the exterior uh, appearance of the condo. Um, uh, the first type of condo at Champions Gate, and there are two uh, particular um, condo floor plans that are available um, in this particular setup. One is the Augusta. The Augusta has a is the first prices start at three hundred and eight thousand nine hundred ninety dollars. Um, that's current pricing as of uh, October twenty one. Those prices are subject to change um, as uh, the market in the U.S. is definitely very very. Um, uh, healthy and, and robust at this moment. The Turnberry, it's a little bit larger at 1,560 square feet, um, and that starts from 356,990. And just to uh, give a very, very brief um, overview that might be important for uh, investors or uh, others who are listening, and that would be 
that the uh, the lower the price, um, the uh, the ROI will be relatively lower, and the higher the price, the ROI will be relatively higher. Although the ROIs for all of these particular um, floor plans are very attractive, and um, it, it will really depend on um, your budget and the budget of, uh, of of those who are looking to purchase. The townhomes are a little bit larger, and as you can see from uh, the exterior. Um, the exterior design is a little bit different. Um, there's Sable Palm at 1,900 square feet, and this is coming in just under $400,000, 395, 490. The 2,069 square foot Beach Palm is coming in at 401,490. So as you can see, there's not a lot of difference uh, between some of these floor plans as far as price, um, but the floor plans themselves will offer um, a, 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 a definite a level of um, flexibility for those who are looking for different types of, uh, of functions. And the Royal Palm comes in at 422,490, um, and it's a little bit larger at 2128 square feet. The villas, the villas um, are even larger at five bedrooms, starting out at five bed, five bath. Um, the current price right now for this is $548,050, the Alexander Palm. And the second uh, is the Majesty Palm coming in at $573,050. Um, and this is, again, uh, 3,200 square foot, six bedroom, five bath, two floor, one car garage, beautiful villa located in Champions Gate. And last but definitely not least, the single families, which are just gorgeous. Starting at 646, 550, we have the six bedroom, six bath, two floor Gatsby. And at 659, we have the Buchanan, uh, which is seven bedrooms and five baths. And the ROIs on these can be as high as about 8%. So definitely um, a great opportunity for those who have uh, a little bit more of um, funds to invest uh, in real estate. Um, and again, all of these uh, homes are for short-term rental, which it, it basically guarantees that your um, investment return is going to be um, considerably higher uh, than if you were um, investing in uh, uh, something that would be not for short-term rental. Chris. So this, so this Greg, maybe may for a, a large family going on holiday for three weeks, say they've got three or four children, uh, they can stay there, they can obviously use the facilities, um, and, and that's the sort of target you're looking for, somebody staying there for three weeks. What's the maximum that somebody can stay there for, four weeks, or is there no max? Well, yes, I mean, these, uh, basically, these are marketed through um, uh, platforms such as Airbnb, etc., and so um, whatever the maximum on that platform is, um, that would be the maximum, but usually it doesn't go over a few weeks uh, because, again, these are short-term rentals as opposed to long-term rentals. Um, you wouldn't see anything, you know, over, say, you know, a month probably for the average uh, length here. Most of them are about a week to two weeks, at the most three weeks, um, right, in the, right in the ballpark that you were talking about. Thank you. I, I know you can touch on that later on, but I just need to ask. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And finally, the Santiago. Santiago is the largest floor plan at eight bedrooms, five baths, two floors, 4,300 square feet, and the price starts at 695,550 at Champions Gate. So that's an overview of Champions Gate. Now, Story Lake, um, Story Lake is a, a very highly popular, extremely um, well-developed and well-designed community that is um, in, in many cases, uh, it, it is even uh, more attractive than uh, Champions Gate. And the reason why I say that is because Champions Gate is, uh, it's built around golf courses. And so it, it caters to the lifestyle, more of a relaxed lifestyle, uh, whereas Story Lake is much closer to all of the parks um, within uh, Orlando's uh, general area. And so um, it, it tends to get more of the, uh, more of the, the more short-term, um, uh, a recreational a crowd who's coming to um, spend time at uh, you know Disney World, Universal, etc. Um, and so the prices will be a little bit higher, uh, but again, the return on investment for both of these communities um, is uh, is about the same as far as um, ROIs go. Very attractive. Um, and here's just a very quick view of where the property is located. Story Lake 
right here. Um, and Disney, Walt Disney World is just uh, just literally very close. It's like 4.5 miles away. Here you can see the distance is 4.5 miles to Walt Disney World, 9.1 to SeaWorld, Universal 12.3, et cetera. The airport 15 miles away. These are all very, very short distances um, considering that Orlando is a very sprawling metropolis and uh, the average uh, drive by car in Orlando is gonna be 20, 30 minutes if you're going anywhere in a normal situation. Um, and so Lennar has um, specifically uh, looked for the best locations closest to all of the attractions. Um, and, and that has, has really paid off for a lot of investors who invested here uh, so far. These are some pictures of the clubhouse and the area around the clubhouse. You have mini golf, you have a lazy, uh, lazy river, um, you have volleyball, you have all kinds of attractions. And these are just usually quite full. Um, starting at 9, 10 in the morning, you see people out there with their kids, with their families, um, enjoying uh, the recreation that's available right within Story Lake. Um, and so uh, as, as, as some of you might notice, um, if you've ever gone on a vacation with your family, um, you wanna spend time in the parks, you wanna spend time at the attractions, but sometimes you just wanna spend a lazy day right at home or right at the place you're staying. And so this is so much more attractive than uh, staying at a hotel where you wouldn't have any of these attractions available for the family. And the, the rates are incredibly uh, attractive as well. I think we're, we're hitting like uh, about 130, 140, uh, sometimes a little bit, little bit more on the, the daily rate, the average daily rate here for uh, Story Lake and Champions Gate. But there's a lot of amenities available um, even if the family doesn't want to get out and go to uh, one of the one of the more famous attractions like SeaWorld or uh, or Disney World. So the condominiums at Story Lake are the same floor plans as those that we just mentioned. Uh, some of them are the same as we just mentioned for Champions Gate um, with a couple additions. So we have the Milan, the Florence, the Venice and the Sorrento. And those starting prices uh, go from about 310 all the way to about 353. Um, these are current prices as of today, um, subject to change. Uh, but uh, for those who are looking for more details, please reach out to Tyrone, reach out to Chris, um, and we will assist you um, in getting uh, the full uh, package of information for whichever uh, particular floor plan that you are interested in. Now, the townhomes. The townhomes, uh, Chris, go ahead. I was going to say, um, there's so much information on this, and we're aware of that. And what we've decided to do between the three of us is to do another one, which is going to be longer in much more detail. So we okay. are aware that we're run, running through this quickly. Um, but we are doing another one on request. We'll get it out to you. Sorry, Greg, another advert. Thanks, Chris, for the advertisement. Yes. And for those who want to get into the meat of the details, we will have another recording available soon as well. So the Sable Palm comes in at about 413. As you've noticed, the prices are a little bit higher than those for Champions Gate for the same comparable floor plan. Um, but again, it's because of the location, being closer to the parks, closer to the attractions. Um, the Beach Palm comes in at 418,990. The Royal Palm at 456,990. And uh, onto the villas. The villas, we have the Alexander Palm again, um, 582,550. The Majesty Palm at 602,550. And the single families are um, a little bit uh, a little bit higher, but the same uh, basic floor plans that we saw at Champions Gate. We have the Gatsby at 697. We have the Buchanan at 708, and we have the Santiago at 732. So lots of choices um, for any particular investment amount. I think we have it all covered. And so now I'm going to switch gears a bit and go into the process behind how Golden Gate Global works with you, works with Holborn to assist in this process for purchasing uh, a Lennar home and making this investment um, absolutely as easy as possible, as streamlined as possible, an end-to-end -end concierge service. So one of the reasons why people buy Lennar homes, I would say, is just for the utter convenience that is, uh, that's possible. Um, there's no need for a physical visit to ensure the quality. Um, you have warranties uh, covering all of that. Um, you're dealing with the largest home builder in the U.S., not a large home builder, but the largest home builder in the U.S. 
and a trusted and vetted service network that Lennar and Golden Gate Global have worked with for uh, a very long time. Um, also, you have the everything include everything's included approach. This is unique to Lennar in that um, many times when a buyer goes to look at a new home, um, you have a great showroom or you have a great model home and you say, I want this. And then when it comes to actually making the purchase, you realize that all of those great things you wanted, you have to add, you know, maybe fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 more onto the price of the home to actually be able to purchase that. Whereas Lennar, they want to include everything. So that means uh, appliances, um, all kinds of different things are included within the purchase price of the home. So um, it just makes it a lot more streamlined. Um, and of course, the amenities are just matchless. The amenities uh, at Lennar properties um, are resort level. So that's something that's uh, also very, very important to note. Purchasing a Lennar home with Golden Gate Global is a very simple one, two, three process. And I'll go into that in uh, further detail in a moment. Uh, but basically, the first part of the process is to identify the community, the floor plan, and the home site. So we had all those beautiful floor plans earlier, and we will be going into those in more detail in a future record in a future um, webinar as well. However, you need to identify the community um, based on your own personal preferences, determine your financing options. At this point, financing we have um, very very strong partners for mortgages, um, regardless of where you are coming from um, in the uh, you know, around the world, and so we have. Uh, very tailored solutions on that side. Um, then you will go to the process, go through the process of uh, touring the home, signing the purchase agreement. Obviously, the tour can be virtual, wiring the deposit, um, and then moving on to the final home inspections and uh, executing the closing documents and then delivery. Our services to our buyers um, include the entire process from the very beginning, selecting the home during the purchase process and post purchase. So we're going to be there all the way uh, through the property management process. We're going to be helping you. And we like to say at Golden Gate Global, once you are an investor, once you're an investor with us, we are there with you for the long term. We're there to create long term value for you. Um, and we're very happy to work with Holborn, work with Chris, work with Tyrone um, to be able to assure that um, everything works out um, and everything is uh, Everything is taken care of, not only for the purchase, but for uh, things down the road as well. Chris, I think you have a question. Well, it's because I've already met Fang, um, who works uh, alongside you, who is an absolute expert on all those different products and how they're yes. fitted out and where they fit into the site. So although, again, we sped through this, I've met her. She's excellent and she knows both projects and another one that's coming up like, in the back of her hand. So. I have no, no reservations in saying that she is going to be superb with not only the guys from Holborn, but also our clients. Another advert, Greg. <laughs> Absolutely, Chris. Thank you. And we'll, we'll be looking forward to um, that future webinar that we'll be making available. Um, Fong Cook, um, which works with us in Lennar, Orlando, uh, <clears throat> she will be the on-site expert who will be able to assist with all of the details and all the up-to-date information, I'm here to make the process smooth and keep every everybody happy, hopefully, along the way. So uh, uh, just as an example, we put together a cash flow analysis based on one of these uh, floor plans at Story Lake um, to give you an idea of uh, the ratios, give you an idea of the, uh, uh, the different uh, line items that you'll need to be aware of looking at this investment. And again, we'll be able to provide these um, in great detail, depending on the actual um, uh, preferred uh, uh, community and the preferred uh, home site um, for individual investors. This is an example for illustration purposes. So the initial costs, as I mentioned, you have a 15% purchase price that needs to be wired. That's the down payment. Um, then you have uh, the uh, mortgage processing fees, retaining, retainer fees. Um, you also have a translation fee if necessary, if you're dealing with um, institutions um, that need to provide information on your behalf that are not um, in English speaking countries. Um, and then we have a US account opening um, that start that that's part of the first part of the process. And then the final cost at completion is 
um, the extra 15% of the purchase price. Again, this is based on a, a 30 70 model. So 30% uh, down payment, 70% mortgage. Um, and uh, then you have closing costs, uh, prepaid reserves, that's for the mortgage, and then a furniture package as well. Um, looking uh, down the line for this particular um, floor plan, we're looking at a, an annualized over 10 years projected ROI of about 4.24, and that only goes up as the size of the home uh, increases. So this is the smallest available unit, the Milan, um, and this will, uh, that number will go up about to 8% uh, for the larger homes as well. So there are two parts in the process um, for the actual purchase. There is the Lennar sales process and there's the mortgage process. And then thirdly, um, after the process of purchase is complete, then we have the uh, property, manager, uh, property, property management that comes in um, to uh, take over at that point. But I won't go through all of this in detail. I'll hit a couple highlights. We will be doing a much more detailed presentation uh, on this um, in a future webinar, uh, but I wanted to give everyone an idea of the process. It's very straightforward and we are here to assist you along the way, um, assist your clients or assist yourself in, in, this, uh, in this process. Um, one thing to note on the 15% um, purchase price, wire, uh, the deposit needs to be wired out. Um, I did note here it needs to be wired out within 48 hours of signing the purchase and sale agreement. And so really what that means is once you have decided on your preferred unit, the unit you're looking to purchase, and you're ready to sign the purchase and sales agreement, it's important to have the funds necessary for that 15% purchase uh, price wire deposit ready so that uh, once you sign the agreement, then you can make that transfer as soon as possible. Obviously, if you're able to um, have those funds in your US bank account earlier, um, that would be ideal. But if not, um, it's, it's, uh, it's not an issue at all as long as you're able to provide a proof of the transfer within those 48 hours. The closing process um, is done through Lennar Title. Um, and the cash to close basically is the remainder of funds for down payment. So we used a 30% down payment example earlier. Um, that may be a little bit higher depending on what the mortgage um, uh, terms and conditions are because that's a very personalized process. But let's say it's 30, 35%. The remainder of those funds for the down payment will need to be um, in the US at least 15 days before closing to avoid those delays. Uh, but again, this is a process that takes about 30 to 45 days, um, assuming that we have the inventory right there ready and available um, right away. And, uh, and, and so this, this cash to close will be uh, something that the buyer can bring in um, during that process. On the mortgage side, uh, basically the mortgage, um, the, the first part of this process that um, I think is um, important for um, buyers to be aware of is that we will need to help our buyers to get a pre-qualification letter and provide that to Lennar very early on in the process. The second, er, the second um, part of the process that's important to um, get going early on is to set up a US bank account because that will be needed um, not only for the closing process, but also for um, future um, rent payments, et cetera. So um, that process is started very early um, in the mortgage process. Um, and then obviously, um, more details, I will um, save this detail for our much more detailed webinar in the future. Um, however, uh, I'll pause the screen for a moment um, to, to show the mortgage process here. And the third part of the mortgage process is when at closing, um, the funds are, um, the, the funds for the uh, mortgage amount are released and the closing process is completed with Lennar. And at that point, um, the property manager comes in um, to be able to uh, start the home setup, decor, um, and multi-channel promotion. Um, and then uh, shortly thereafter, the buyer will start uh, be able to uh, receive payments uh, on their investment. So at this point, um, this is uh, the end of our section uh, uh, on the mortgage um, and sales process. I want to open it up for questions. I know that probably there is 
a, a lot of questions right now being built up. Um, and Chris, I think you have one right away. Well, I just, uh, well, thanks, Greg. I mean, you know, what I like about this is although different, it's got so many comparisons with what we're used to doing with people in the UK, even when it comes to the mortgage rates, even when it comes to the loan to value, interest only, capital interest, I think the stress they've got to get their mortgage in place and a great idea to open a bank account early are two things that I've taken away from that. And Tyrone, um, you, I'd like you to say a few words. Yeah, <clears throat> sure. You know, have, <clears throat> excuse me. Having worked with Greg for many years, I, I know how efficient uh, him and his group are. And also, you know, just being an American, knowing what a great builder Lennar is. And then, you know, as we uh, to sell back to, to what I do a bit more, um, you know, with if some of our, our clients who are interested in immigrating to the U.S., uh, a lot of them are also looking for homes or else uh, looking for future investments. So. Um, it's a good opportunity to, uh, you know, help your clients find e even more products to invest into, or if they just want to buy, purchase a home also. Um, you know, Greg will be able to help out with that. I'm here to give some advice. Or if you have people want to uh, look at investing into America, they might also want to look at uh, getting permanent residency there. So, um, All right, I'm that's exactly that. why you're there. And obviously yeah. everyone knows you and, um, you know, they can email you. Simply through through Holden. So, Greg, what we're going to do now? We've got lots of questions come in, so we're going to go across and answer some questions. Right for the first one, question straight away from Karen. Thanks, Karen, for jumping on. By the way, really, really pleased with the numbers today. So, thank you very much, everybody. Um, I assume the presentation will be sent out later. Yes, it will, um, along with the other presentations that we've done, um, or all on the uh, on the website. And it's also worth noting that. Um, in the last week, we got together and we have actually recorded a longer version, if you like. So Greg, um, Fang, um, also Tyrone, myself, we, we've done another one, which is actually an hour long, which is going to cover so much more. But we didn't want to um, you know, overdo it today. So, uh, so there we are. Let me know if you need that. Um, you said, Greg, you said the ROI percentage is higher for the higher price units. Why is this? Chris, thank you. And I, I was able to peruse some of the questions coming into the uh, chat box uh, over our presentation today. And I think it's great to see the questions hitting the nail on a lot of uh, questions that uh, investors will have. And I just want to say that we are here to uh, provide as much information in detail, in depth um, as possible for our investors. Um, and we like to do that in a personalized fashion. Um, and so um, in general, though, um, in response to this particular question, um, the larger um, home sizes, such as the villas and the uh, single families, um, they will have the option um, through those multi-channel listing services to be listed, um, you know, where you can have uh, multiple rooms being rented out as single um, rental units in a sense. And so the ultimate uh, price that a home of that size would be able to get over a uh, month uh, period would be um, much higher uh, comparatively to the uh, purchase price. So the ROI would be higher um, than, for, for example, a two bedroom, um, where in most cases, a two bedroom is let out at a very set price. Um, and um, there's, there's not much room for um, raising that price or taking advantage of that um, by uh, separating those rooms out. But um, that's just in general, and we're very happy to provide um, more detailed cash flow analysis um, on any particular um, uh, home, uh, home site or floor plan um, based on current rates and current information, um, especially with our um, partner uh, property manager as well, um, to be able to um, nail in on those uh, for, for a specific home site or, or a specific floor plan. Greg, I've got a question here for you. Um, is it for only overseas investors? This is from Daniel. Um, or can we onboard US clients? Very good question, Chris. So good. overseas investors or overseas investors who are in the US or US investors who are based in the US or US investors who are based outside of the US. So I kind of expanded that question a little bit. 
we can help to, uh, to, to facilitate purchase for all of these groups. And we're very happy to work with international or US buyers in, for, for Lennar purchases. Okay, another one from Ben. Um, are there any tax benefits for US citizens investing in these projects? Great. I always <laughs> like to get these questions because I get to give my standard disclaimer answer. Um, but uh, the answer is obviously um, for tax questions, we do work with our property manager who is able to work with the uh, tax professional who will be able to answer those questions in detail as we at Golden Gate Global are not licensed to provide tax information or tax advice. Um, but I will say that there are vehicles in place um, that I think are uh, fairly well known um, that can provide tax benefits for not only US buyers, but also foreign buyers. Um, you do see, for example, just an example, some investors will decide to uh, purchase a property through an LLC. Um, there are also other structures and, and, and possibilities out there. But again, I will, I will um, uh, emphasize that we're very happy to connect an individual buyer with um, a tax professional on those tax related questions. And I know I saw a couple other tax related questions on capital gains tax. Capital gains tax in the US, um, it does have a cap. I will say that um, it's not extremely high, um, but uh, that's, that's uh, something that again, a tax professional will be able to go into more detail on. Um, and, and, and just uh, without, um, stay, without staying too, steering too far from that, I, I will go to another question, uh, if you don't mind, Chris, the question on the, uh, the stamp tax. Um, and the stamp tax based on the, um, based on an average purchase usually is a little over 1% of the purchase price. Um, and that may fluctuate slightly, but um, uh, that's uh, the entire, um, uh, what, what we would say uh, on that side, it's, it's government recording and transfer charges. So it includes city and county tax stamps, state tax stamps and doc stamps on the deed. So it's um, a total uh, of uh, about 1% or a little bit over. And again, um, we'll provide all this detailed information um, uh, on any particular floor plan that the in, uh, investor is interested in. Thanks, Greg. Um, questions come in, because um, you've mentioned it several times, and I know it is important. Opening a bank account. Um, yes. Is it, is it fairly straightforward, um, or, or do they have to prove they're going to get a mortgage afterwards? How does that work? No, um, it's, it's very straightforward. They do not have to prove they're getting an, a mortgage afterward. However, um, we do work very closely with uh, the mortgage side of our business to um, help the investor to um, apply for that bank account as early on in the process as possible. Um, and so it's not tied to getting a mortgage, mortgage at all um, because obviously the bank account can have multiple uses, but um, it's more of a tool um, that we are wanting to provide to our investors early on in the process because it will become very useful, especially in the closing process, but even in the uh, transfer of the deposit uh, along that side, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, um, if those funds or a portion of those funds can be in the United States early on in the process, that will just streamline things on the uh, deposit side. Thanks, Greg. Tyrone, I mean, you're famous and, and uh, brilliant at citizenship and green cards and all that sort of thing. How do you see this fitting into what you do on a daily basis? And um, more especially the guys that are on the call, their clients um, who need your expertise. You're, you're open to speak to people. They can email you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm always available. And although these particular properties do not qualify for, you know, the EB-5 investment program, immigration program to the U.S., a lot of times clients will be looking for other investments alongside their uh, immigration investments. So, um, Sometimes they might come looking for an American investment in property, but they might want to leave with, with a U.S. green card. So I think you can kind of cross-sell the, these to, to people, and a lot of people have the same uh, interests. Well, the great thing is you've got an American accent, so you must know everything. <laughs> um, well, Nick, the, 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 are there any restrictions in terms of nationality or residency? I'm not quite sure if he means for the mortgage side or purchasing. He's got Iranian, um, not really in the same category, other than Lebanese. Um, I, I guess the money laundering thing is, is the most important thing, but going back to the mortgage side, would there be restrictions or is that not for you, Greg? 
Well, um, the, the answer to that question is that in the majority, vast majority of cases, there will not be any restrictions on the nationality of the individual, whether they're making a cash purchase or a mortgage purchase. However, um, if a client is coming from a more sensitive location, we would want to take that uh, as a personal um, uh, a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation that we would um, undergo with uh, the mortgage lender um, because usually there are creative solutions, um, but there may be the, the, the case where that will be difficult. And we want to try to create a solution um, in, uh, in, in the best possible way for those clients as well. But the majority of clients, there's gonna be no restrictions on nationality. Great, thanks, Greg. I love that expression, sensitive location. I'm gonna use that, I've written that down. Um, so one last question coming up here from John JP. Can these properties be structured through get ground? Now, that's a bit of a low ball for you, as they say in America, Greg. Uh, get ground are the company that we use all the time for setting up offshore structures for people to buy a property, especially in the UK. Um, I doubt you've come across them, but in general terms, can people buy through, through a structure? Um, through an offshore structure, is that yeah. is that correct? Um, yes. Yeah, so um, basically, uh, it is, uh, to my knowledge, um, it is possible to um, to work through this type of structure. Although we definitely would need to look into the specifics of uh, the case, especially um, if there's an opportunity for a uh, an investor to make the purchase through a structure, for example, that is. Um, onshore in the U.S., that may be another option. Um, but again, our mortgage side, I think on our mortgage side, uh, the team there is very experienced, had experience in working with structures um, as, as, a, as a modus operandi for purchasing. And so um, thank you for that question. And uh, I think that we will be able to um, provide uh, more detailed, personalized information on that um, as we have uh, interest from an investor in a particular property. Um, and be able to look through the options that are available um, and try to provide the one that makes the most sense. Thanks, Rick. Bob actually just clarified the question that he asked about the restrictions um, pertaining to opening a bank account. And I guess the same would apply. Um, opening a bank account mortgage is going to be on an individual basis, especially from those sensitive countries. Uh, correct, correct. That is correct because it, it comes back to again the source of funds um, and and where where it's coming from. But again, sources of funds is is not really usually um, I would say in ninety nine percent of the cases an issue for making a purchase in the United States. Um, it's it's different from an immigration program where in many cases, uh, for example, the U.S. immigration program looks into the source of funds. But um, again, it it comes back to again you know if, is the client coming from a a sensitive region. Um, if that's the case, then we will look into um, a solution if possible um, on that side. And that will be um, the first priority in our process, Chris, just to let you know that as we start this um, mortgage and purchase process, the first thing that we want to um, establish is um, obviously the viability and feasibility of the investment. So if uh, a client is coming from a, a sensitive region or country, then we'll want to answer that question right away um, as opposed to later on down the road. Great. A question comes from Demi from Guy Woodard. Are you, are you able to set up a bank account for individuals without a USA address? Uh, yes, that is correct. Um, that is the whole purpose of, um, of doing the process remotely. Um, the bank account is remotely set up. Um, and the, uh, the individual does not um, need to have their own U.S. address at the time of setting up that bank account, um, and it's, it's done remotely. That's great. Well, that's the questions that come in, and we said we wanted to keep it to 45 minutes, and we've, we've hit our target, so well done. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, really good level of attendees today. It will be on the, uh, the, the website, the uh, Holborn Assets website, along with other, other recording. So thank you, Greg. Brilliant. And uh, just a reminder, we've already recorded a longer version of this, which goes into much more detail. Um, so we'll answer maybe more questions. Tyrone, thanks very much, as always, and all those people in Vietnam for tuning in. Thank you, everybody. See you next week. Cheers. Thank you all. Thank you, Chris. Thank right. you, Tyrone.